okay now let's get into the good stuff we want to play an mp3 song which which is stored in this list right so for that it's pretty simple we just have to, uh, just an indent call in the pi game music model mo module so we're gonna first initialize the mixer module then we're gonna load sorry mixer dot music dot load and we are going to load the first song that is in this list so we can just pass in zero as an index so we can load the first song and we can just call in the play method so it can actually play it for us so let me run it and I, you can see uh, it'll automatically play the first song which is available in that folder as you see it successfully worked so what what we have to do right now is create some kind of process which jumps back and forth in that list so if we press next it's gonna change this index to one and play the music again so you, I think you're getting the kind of kind of idea right now if you press previous it's gonna decrement the index and start playing it again and if I press stop you can just have the method called pygame.mixer.music and you guessed it stop you can just call in the stop method to stop the song okay now uh, since we didn't done the most important part of this of this app application method we're going to create the visual application visual GUI so for that I'm going to use first a label wait a second first I'm going to use a label so where do I want to put this label I want to put this in root and I want to and I want the text to appear as music player that's good and we'll just pack it in you can actually pass some other parameters to pack to say where to put this thing so next I'm going to use the list box let me give some space list box is equal to list box I want to put in root and no text I don't need any text and just pack the list box so let me show you what we're up to right now let me mute this so you can see it actually shows the list box wait let me remove this thing so I can you can actually see it better so you can see it actually created a list box which in which we are going to display all the songs which we actually printed a few few seconds ago so it will actually display all of them in this list box so it's, it'll be much better and now we're gonna create some buttons it's, it's uh, you know what buttons usually are in a music player so what buttons do we have we have the play button the play button we actually don't need the play button you can do it later I'm gonna use the next button and I'm going to make it equal to button and put it where I want to put it I want to put it in frame and say the text is equal to next song nice and I'm going to say next button dot pack it in I'm gonna say previous button same thing I'm gonna equal to button root text equal to previous oops, previous song and I'm going to pack it in again and lastly stop button that's it that's our basic GUI let's see how it looks okay so you can see we have three buttons right now which is next song previous song and stop music so what we'd want to do right now is have a list of all the songs and we uh, will initially start uh, by playing the first song in the list we can you can if you get the if you get the hang of it you can automatically write very very good code you can actually have a play button stop button volume up button and I'll even tell you how to do that so the next song actually changes the index actually it just increments the index which is right here list of songs it increments that index and place the next song in the list previous song decrements it and stop song actually calls in the method dot stop to stop music 
so we have the most of the parts done we just have to no not most of the parts done. we have just you still have to use the uh, bring out the metadata and for well, for now let's just enter all the elements I mean all the data which we have all the songs in the folder and to uh, and enter it into the list box let's do that real quick so there's a list box here's a list box so in our list box I want to insert all the songs which are in my list of songs so let's do something I'm gonna run a for loop in list of songs and I'm gonna say list box dot there is a method called insert which inserts each element into that list so I'm going to insert from this left and insert all the items in this so if I call this method before and run it whoa that's it you say you can see all the songs are loaded into our list box if you have more songs you can actually scroll up and down but I don't know luckily I have exactly 10 songs and they fit right in so you can scroll down and up we we just can't click it and slow the songs that we have methods for that but right now we're not going to concentrate on that so so the next thing what oh wait what the, uh, the list is in reverse and it's actually playing the reverse song oh, let me show you what it's doing right now let me run this again oh so uh, the list is in uh, reverse direction but the songs are actually playing in order the re but the uh, list is in reverse so what's actually what what is actually doing is it's playing the last song but the order is in reverse so to quickly fix that what I'm going to do is oh what do we have to do it's pretty simple we can just um, simply to reverse the list before it's inserted and to and to avoid any conflicts we'll just reverse it after it's done so let's run it Oops. And there you go the songs are actually in order right now so let's get to this now uh, as you can see these songs sorry this is the wrong file let me run this so as you can see the songs which are in this list box are actual names of the songs and not sorry they are not the actual names of the songs but they are the uh, names which you actually which the which somebody actually gave but not this actual name of the song which I told you earlier so to get that we're going to use the uh, module from mutagen which is known as ID3 let me show you how to do that so let's import mutagen dot okay mutagen dot ID3 no not like that save from mutagen import ID3 so you imported, I imported the ID3 module. So what this ID3, ID3 module can do is it can actually bring out the metadata from from the uh, MP3 file, and uh, you can do whatever you want to do with this. So let me do something. Um, wait, let's just do it in our main method, which is directory chooser method. So I can pass the actual di uh, directory of that mp3 file to our mutagen module id3 and it will actually we can actually extract the data using the uh, there are actually codes given to it like tit2 gives you back the title of the song let me just do a quick real demonstration of, uh, quick demonstration of it so let's name it audio and I'm going to pass in I'm going to say id3 and I have to pass in the whole directory of that song but right now we don't have any whole directory of the song I guess so let me just create a real directory os.path.realpath which will give me the actual uh, whole directory so right now let me just tell you uh, explain what was happening so right now we have something like this 
in our file in our directory we don't have the actual song dot we don't have this extension right here so to get the whole path we are going to use the real directory met real path method and pass in the actual files so we can get the whole path into this so i have a real directory variable and i'm going to pass in real directory to this so this id3 id3 method will actually bring me all the metadata associated with this associated with the file which is in the real directory and put it in audio so from from so right now i can just uh, uh, bring out whatever i want i can say audio and say tit2 to bring out the title so it actually re returns me in object form so do not do that we can just say text and we can we can get back the actual title of the song as a text so let me do it in a much meaningful way so let's create another list say real names and i'm going to just append real names dot append and i'm going to do what it just did right now did2 it's okay if you don't understand much of it right now because uh, these things are I got them from documentation so if you want you can just go to documentations API reference and they actually can go to ID3 modules and read about them you, they have a whole bunch of these things and it, there are a few examples also in uh, maybe stack overflow so you can actually know what each thing does did do TIT2 actually returns title and there are like various number of uh, tags these are called tags actually so there there are various number of tags which you can use to retrieve different kinds of information different kinds of metadata from that file so right now we have uh, all the names actual names of the songs in this list known as real names so instead of um, instead of uh, putting all the lists list of songs let's keep i mean let's keep the real list i mean real names dot reverse and real names real names dot reverse so if i run this let me see if it actually works and it does so now you can see instead of instead of showing Make the actual and I mean not the whole the names whole the list and tag all the name Which you can actually rename and spoof if you want to it actually returns me the actual metadata titles of the song so right is the actual name of the song and 21 pilot and that's the name of the song which is the Windows sees mm -hmm.